Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can perform a likelihood ratio test of goodness of fit with Python. Uh, I'm using Anaconda and then Jupyter Lab with a Python 3 uh, kernel, I think it's 3.9.7. Uh, but the code snippet should work in any Python um, IDE that you're using. So um, this is also known sometimes as a g-test or a Wilkes test of goodness of fit. And it's an alternative to, for example, the Pearson chi-square test of goodness of fit or an exact multinomial um, test of goodness of fit. I'm going to need some example data, so and I'm going to load that in using pandas. If you've never used pandas before, you probably want to install it first. And once you've installed it, then you can import it. Um, it's a CSV file, so I'm using read CSV. And this should give a first impression. Uh, it's from a general social survey from 2012, which was freely available. And I adjusted it a little bit for um, example purposes. I'll be using the marital one field, the mar one field, which is actually the marital status. Uh, so I'm going to select that as my specific field and using values counts we can get our frequencies to see how often each option was chosen. So for example 181 people indicated to be widowed. Now uh, the power divergence from the SciPy library actually has the test that we need. So again, uh, you could use a pip install scipy if you've never used it before, and then just do scipy stats import power divergence. It requires only two inputs. You can do more, but um, the observed counts on my frequency table and the so-called lambda, which specifies which exact method we want to use. And in this case, it's going to be the log likelihood because that will give us that G test or whatever you want to call this test. Um, the function will return two values, the test statistic and the p-value. So that's why I'm catching both of them. And this is just running the function and it's going to print each of them. The first value is the test statistic. And this will follow a so-called chi-square distribution. And from that we can calculate that the probability of having a chi-square value of 1137 or more is going to be somewhere around 0 0.000 and then 244 zeros and then 718. So this is extremely small and usually this will therefore be considered significant so it's not distributed equally among the different categories. So there are significant differences. Uh, when reporting the results we usually also need the degrees of freedom and for a goodness of fit test that's the number of categories minus of one, uh, minus one. Uh, we can get the length of my frequencies, which is then the number of categories, and then minus one will give me that degrees of freedom. And then we have all the information we need, so the four is the degrees of freedom. I have my test statistic, uh, which was this one, and I have my p-value, the significance, and those are the main values you usually need to report. Also, uh, effect size is usually reported, but I'll deal with those in a separate video. And of course, once you know that there are differences, so it's not equally distributed, you might want to use some kind of post hoc test on to see which ones are different. So this is fairly straightforward how you can actually perform this test using Python and the uh, SciPy uh, power divergence function. If you're interested in the appendix, I'll upload the link uh, on my website to this uh, Jupyter Notebook. Um, I'll go over the exact formula and then check if we in the end actually get the same result. I'll quickly load that. Um, you can see the formula over there and after I've actually gone over that formula you'll see I get the exact same result as earlier with uh, the power divergence. I can then actually use the chi-square distribution, which SciPy also has for me, with again the degrees of freedom, and that should give me that exact same p-value. There are also some corrections that can be actually applied. There is a Yates continuity correction, which uh, should actually only be used if you have only two categories, so binary data. 
uh, it says to subtract a half if your observed count is greater than the expected count and add a half if it's less than and just keep it the same if it's um, uh, if it's the same as the expected count I'll wrote that here in a small little code snippet and that gives a slightly different chi-square value um, Williams correction can also be used which is to actually calculate this Q um, if your degrees of freedom is indeed um, k minus 1 then this is what the formula boils down to and then you divide your found chi-square value from earlier with that Q so um, that's what I'm doing here I'm calculating that Q and just divide it by that um, and then there's also ES Pearson which says simply n minus 1 over n uh, and multiply that with your earlier found chi-square value so you notice that they don't change that much I wrote one longer function for myself with all of these in one go and just tested it a few times but all of them are fairly similar and that's it that's how you can perform a um, g-test using uh, of goodness of fit using Python hope this was helpful and thank you for watching